In this ICT basics video, I, I want to go over something that is furthermore, um, let's say that you're like ADD, ADHD, um, or you, you have uh, problems with impulse control, um, you don't, or let's say that you're overly analytical like me, it's very difficult for you not to be in a position to be flat. I want to speak to that kind of trader right now uh, because I'm that kind of trader and I want to speak to you. Guys, you don't need to know what the market is doing all of the time. You just don't. Actually, you don't even really need to know where the market's going most of the time. Actually, you really only need to know what the market is doing uh, really relatively rarely. Okay. When you look at a price chart, like I'm looking at the micro Russell right now, and I have... I, you know, I could see why it could draw higher, and I could also see here on the 30-minute chart why it could draw lower. There's two fair value gaps on both sides. If you have no bias, <clears throat> if you're really looking at the chart and you're going, you know what, I really have no idea what this thing wants to do, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't need to know what the market is doing every second of every day. Um, and if you're not trading a funded account challenge and you don't have to worry about, you know, let's say you're trading your own cash, Broker's not making you trade. So, so just sit and just sit and uh, wait until... Here's, here's what I want you to be confident about. And this is what I have to talk to myself about as well. <clears throat> Eventually, the market will form some sort of structure that you're going to know what that is. You're going to be able to look and you go, yep, that's it. I'm trading that. There's going to be a point somewhere in price, right? Like you're looking up here and you're like, oh... That kind of looks like the consequent encroachment of a wick. That kind of looks like a bearish order block. That looks like price is respecting that bearish order block. Oh, that looks like price is respecting the, this series of up close candles and kind of looks like an inverted fair value gap. Looks like we have sell side liquidity below. There's going to come a point in price at some point where you're going to know what it's doing and it's going to, you're going to recognize it. Let's take a look at the, the uh, MES. We're going to get rid of this one. If you're looking at the market right this second and you're going, you know what, I have no idea whether this thing wants to go higher or wants to go lower, I totally fine. I can understand why we're sitting in the middle of a range. You're sitting up at the very end of the trading day, uh, and again, this is where, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, trading your own cash makes a big difference if you're able to hold over resettlement versus a funded account challenge where you're not. Um, you're sitting at the end of the day and you see the market draws up into this order flow over here and into this fair value gap at the very end of the day. I'm going to be honest with you, I'd hold that trade over resettlement. I know exactly what happened there. Yeah, I could recognize when the market was right there. Um, this move in the PM session was difficult, but I could see these relative equal highs. like, And I could see that the market had drawn down below this sell side liquidity, below this order block. I, I, at some point I did. Actually, I was long in here. Guys, at some point, the market's going to make sense to you. You just got to wait. You just got to wait until it does. And uh, a lot of the time, guys, you're going to look at it like price right now, and you're going to go, I have no idea what that thing wants to do. And I just want to be honest with you, that's okay. You don't need to know what the market is doing at all times. Uh, you don't even need to know what the market is doing most of the time. You only need to know what the market is doing at certain key points uh, some of the time. Okay, that's it. Otherwise, feel totally comfortable going, no, I got no idea. That's okay. You will know eventually, guys, if you're patient and you wait and you wait and you wait, eventually price is going to form some sort of a structure or some sort of a pattern that you're familiar with, and you're going to take that opportunity. Okay? So feel totally comfortable. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Uh, if you're not trading a funded account challenge, you got no, you got no uh, rush. There's no rush. There's no. Um, you just wait as long as you want. Wait until the market goes. Ho ho, buddy! Clear as day. That's what we're doing. And just wait for that. Okay, guys. That's why it's a good thing to trade your own cash. At the end of the day, is you can do that. You can just wait on your hands as long as you freaking want. As long as you want. Just keep waiting. Wait until that market goes, ah, yeah, that's a fair value gap that is price is respecting. Yep, yeah, there's there's really clear equal highs, equal lows. So, guys, I've made a video about trading is waiting. Um, 
but you know, I'm just putting out the same message, guys. You don't need to know what the market is doing at all times. Wait for the market to give you. Uh, wait, just wait, just keep waiting until it's clear to you. Oh, hey, buddy, there is an opportunity right there. Otherwise, you're just doing a lot of waiting, guys. So again, you're not stupid if you don't know what the market is doing at all times. You're not stupid. Okay, that's what I got to tell myself. That's what I got to tell you. You are not stupid if you don't know what the market is doing at all times. You only need to know what the market is doing, not even a majority of the time, uh, just key select turning points, basically. That's it. Bye-bye.